Want you to know. Want you to know that I've been watching you. And I can see. And I can see what's really in your heart. Just give it up. Just stop the lying and the empty words. Tell me the truth. No, 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 no. no. Want you to know. Want you to know that I've been watching you. And I can see. And I can see what's really in your heart. Just give it up. Just stop the lying. Words. Tell me the truth. You go around proclaiming that you love me so, but when the time comes for making a choice, often I've pleaded, how often I've tried, so you could see this is the place to be. But you deny me in front of the world. Still have the courage to lie. Day after day, you have the chance to show the world that you really do love me so. But time after time, just like Peter denied me, you choose to walk away. What more do you want me to say? Please tell me the truth. I need you to understand. I can see truth that lies inside of you can lie. So please come back to me, my child, with your heart. Far too long you spent away in sin. You go around proclaiming that you love me so, but when the time comes for making a choice, often I've pleaded, how often I've tried, so you could see this is the place to be. But you deny me in front of the world. Still had the courage to lie. Day after day, you had the chance to show the world that you really do love me so. But time after time, just like Peter denied me, you choose to walk away. What more do you want me to say? Please tell me the truth. Please tell me the truth. Please tell me the truth. So if you know your heart's not your heart's right, not and right. the people that you leave's a lie, get on your knees, confess your sins, and God, God will forgive, forgive you. All. So now's the time to give your to heart. Give your Cause you're standing here. It's not too late, he's standing here, God will forgive you, oh, if your heart's not right, give him your heart, you gotta give. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our second day of the Southern African Union Women Ministries Week of Prayer, which is entitled Empowered by the Holy Spirit. And yesterday we were empowered so that we could go and be delivered. Um, but today we will be presented to by Usista Mufunwa, who will be talking about um, Empowered by the Holy Spirit so that we can forgive, or so that God can forgive us. So that's today's um, um, presentation uh, for the Women's Week of Prayer. Uh, my name is Mrs. Mlanjana. I'll be the platform for today. And I can't tell you how happy it makes me feel to see a screen full of people who have joined us, some of which are unfamiliar to me. And I'm thinking that we have visitors among us. And so a warm welcome to all our visitors today. Um, we hope you are blessed by these presentations and that God can touch us in the only way that he knows how to so better our lives uh, for his kingdom. Before we start, I'm going to um, open the session with a word of prayer, if we could bow our heads and pray. 
our kind and heavenly father we come before your throne of grace with hearts full of thanksgiving lord you've been so good to us we are so grateful for all that you have provided for us for everything that you do for us the way you take care of us in so many different ways we cannot even begin to count or fathom with our infinite minds we lord we want to say thank you for this gathering lord that is happening throughout the southern african union where women are coming together to discuss your word and a particular theme lord whatever it is that this theme was supposed to achieve in our lives we ask for you to help us to um assimilate the information that is going to be shared with us today um, so that we can better our lives and be better as a result of being a part of this week of prayer. Be with our presenter for today. Imbue her with the Holy Spirit. May she only speak that which you want us to hear. Um, give her the wisdom, the confidence, and the um, ability to articulate herself so that that which you want to communicate may reach each and every one of us be with all the ladies here we all are at different points in our lives we're all facing different challenges um, and all the other people who have joined us maybe men that are with us here today please lord meet us all at our point of needs and forgive us where we've had in jesus name we pray amen uh, i will now hand over to sister mufunwa uh, to take us through today's presentation Uh, good evening, good evening, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Okay, we, can, we can, oh, we can. Okay. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I hope you we all had a beautiful Monday. As we continue with the with our week of prayer. My topic for the day is forgive me. So before before, before I start, I would like us to read uh, a scripture from Judges 6, verse 12. Those who've got Bibles, you can open with me. I'll read it in your hearing. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. So I will like to take all of you back to a little history about Gideon. I'm sure we all know about Gideon, what happened, uh, what was happening during his life. So Gideon was uh, hiding in a dry uh, whiteness because he was trying to get wheat to feed his family. But they were... Uh, made nice they, they were enemies those enemies were very scary to the israelites so what they will do they will wait for the israelites wheat to grow so that they can they can burn it down to the ground so it was so frustrating to the israel in, in a point where they had to find means to go and steal from their own field Guys, we can all imagine how frustrating this is. You have a farm, maybe it's an apple farm or whatever. Now you have to go steal from your, from your own garden or from your own farm because you're scared of the enemy. So this was a very trying time for the Israel and for Gideon himself. So Gideon was hiding in a hole. He was so angry full of fear because he, do, he, he, he doesn't want the enemy to, to, to see him. So he was secretly getting the small that he can for his family. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Like guys, it doesn't make sense, uh, especially if you don't like know the history of Gideon. Someone is scared, someone is trembling, someone is hiding in a hole. But then the Lord himself said, uh, uh, I mean, the angel said, Lord, the Lord is with you, you mighty warrior. It doesn't go together. It's, it's like, it's confusing because this person is scared, but God is calling him the mighty warrior. So Gideon was so surprised as well by that uh, by that comment. So he replied and said on verse 13, pardon me, my Lord. So he replied on verse 13, pardon me, my Lord, Gideon replied, 
But if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where all, where are all his wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, when they said, did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt, but now the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the, the hand of the media. So Gideon was so, even though the angel of the Lord came with those beautiful words, he was not convinced himself. He replied saying, if God really care, why is this all happening to us? Why is he not delivering us from, from the enemy? But then the, the, the response from the Lord was very beautiful. On verse 14, if you are reading with me, the Lord turned to him and said, go in the strength you have and save the Israel out of the median sin. I am, am I not sending you? So brothers and sisters, our topic for the day is saying, uh, it's, it's forgive me. So this is the topic for today, forgive me. So what, what we see in the story of Gideon, Gideon was full of hope. He was full of doubt, full of fear, full of all the things that you can think of. He was so frustrated that, uh, and that's what most of us, I believe, we are frustrated. There are so many things that we don't understand, especially if, like, uh, if there's a disease in the home and we pray just to get a bad result, that person uh, passing away, that's so frustrating. And to receive such words, you, most people will not be convinced. But then when, it, when we go down through our lesson, so we learned that God, even though uh, Gideon, uh, Gideon was frustrated, full of fear, uh, like he, he was outweighed with this anxiety, God was there to give him strength. So God said, go in, in the strength to, to save the Israel and then use the, the, the frustration, the energy that you have for your frustration to do it for, to do it in a, to use it in a good way. So what happened in most of us is that we waste so much energy trying, or early, I mean, we waste a lot of energy in frustration. We waste so much energy in anger, in fear, but that energy we can use it in a to 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 work for God. We can use it in something that is very good, that is very beneficial. We can use it to save others. We can use it to do good for the Lord. Instead of complaining, instead of all this frustration, we can rather turn the energy that we have to use it for the better of the kingdom of God. So we are created in the power of God and it's only God who knows our limit. It's funny that uh, God who created us, he knows you better than you know yourself. In most cases, you, you, a person will be telling themselves that I can't do this. I can't, I can't, I can't. And God himself is saying you can. He, it's, it's only him who knows the limits. It's only him who knows you better. And if you say you can, it means you can. You just have to, to believe uh, in him and allow God to work in you. So what I've noticed in this, uh, in, in our generation, we, are, we also have the enemy, which is the, the Medanites in our life, which comes in different form. This enemy can be, maybe finances, our finances are not adding up. Maybe our health are not adding up. And then we say to God, if you really care or if you're with us, why are my finances not adding up? Why am I sick? Why am I, why is my marriage falling apart? Why is my relationship uh, not going well with other people? Why is my family uh, parting? 
we can have so many questions that at the end of the day, they won't really uh, help us. But then this is why we are talking about forgiveness. We need to ask for forgiveness for those negative uh, thoughts or frustration, fear and anger that we have. We need to ask God to forgive us because that's lack of faith. We need to trust God that he's able to, to, to feed us in, if there's hunger in the family, if there's uh, financial issues. He's able to solve those problems. He's, he's got thousands of ways to solve problems that we're going through, of which we know nothing about. So we just need to believe, instead of focusing on, on the enemy, instead of focusing on things that are not going well in our life, we need to focus on God being the solution to our problem. That's why we need to ask for forgiveness, because we are doubting God. We are doubting God each day of our, most of, uh, most of the people are doubting God. We are living in, in, in fear. And as Christians, we were not supposed to be living in fear. Some of us, we fear that something bad might happen. Uh, maybe my finances in the next two years might not be well, my marriage. Uh, maybe someone might hurt my reputation. We can name the fears that we have. And this fear, they go to an extent of influencing others to have fears that we, we have. We influence our friends, we influence our relatives. Instead of giving them hope, we just end up making them scared of uh, life challenges and changes that might happen in our life. And we, were sub we are supposed to trust God in everything. And because most of us are already in that hole that uh, Gideon was hiding, full of fear, frustrated, and full of anger, we need to ask God to forgive us. And we need to learn to trust in him that no matter what, I might, I might be broke now or I might be down now, I might be going through this and this. God will be my rescue. God will bring the relief. Because um, one thing I've noticed is that as Christians, we are also living in fear of things that we were not, uh, that you can even wonder if this person is really a Christian. And which is very discouraging to the, to the, to the, to the, in the fellowship or to others that we can reach out to. We also fear things like um, evil spirits, witchcraft, all those things. And you end up, you find Christian ending up going to these uh, inyangas and all these kind of things because they've got fear that this person might bewitch them or this person might do this or take their happiness, you know, fear of losing our jobs, fear of, we have so many fears and which is wrong. We need to learn to trust God. So an appeal to all of us today is that we all ask God to forgive us for not trusting him because most of us, I believe that we are full, full of fear, angry, frustrated, all these negative things that you can name them, instead of using our energy to be grateful, to trust God and be in harmony. Because uh, most of the solution to our problem is just to trust God. By trusting him, he will be, uh, he will, most of the problem that we have will be solved. But because we are not trusting him, we, that's why we are still struggling with uh, so many things in our life. So I, I bring an appeal to all of you that we all ask for forgiveness, for God to forgive us for not trusting him and to give us strength that when we go forward, we must live and uh, we must trust in him. We must go away from fear, from frustration 
And because God is saying, you are a mighty warrior. You can do it. You can do anything that he wants you to do. As long as you trust him, anything is possible. So let's ask him to forgive us and to give us strength to trust him so that we are will be good influence to everybody, people that live around us, uh, our neighbors, our friends, their friends. We have friends that are not even Christian, but we don't, we are not good influence because we ourselves as Christian, we are full of fear. So some of us, we even go to an extent where we share those fears on social medias, our WhatsApp, our Facebook, whatever, you can name them. And it's so, you know the impact of social media. If I post the status, it just, so many people will have seen that and you, you will have planted that fear instead of building hope in, in their lives. So I pray that we all ask for forgiveness and that God help us to trust him and give us strength to be good, uh, to have good uh, influence uh, with uh, to the people that are around us. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Sister Mufunwa. What a blessed message that was much needed, I'm sure, for most of us to be reminded that the energy we use worrying and fearing and being anxious can be turned into something positive and beautiful and influential in the spheres that we find ourselves in. Um, we thank God for this timely message. My take home is that the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. All the women who are represented here, mighty warriors are represented in this um, Zoom meeting right now. The Lord is with all of us. Eh? And he, he reminds us further in that verse 14, am I not the one who sent you? May we be reminded of this beautiful lesson from this um, message presented to us by Sister Mofuna. Thank you very much. Um, and now I'm going to open this um, section for anybody who has a special prayer request um, so that we can pray those who have those fears that they want to lay at Jesus' feet, that they want to transform those negative energies into positive energies for the glory of God. If we have any of those who want to have a special prayer have made for them, can you please raise your hand and we'll ask with Sister Ngamisa to please pray for us after the prayer requests have come. If anyone wants to unmute themselves with a special prayer request or you can put it on the chat, um, then we can get going with that. Thank you. Well, um, if we don't have any, we'll just ask Sister Namisa to please pray for us all and for that message to transform us in the way that it was intended. Sister Namisa, over to you. Okay, thank you. Shall we pray? Our Father who art in heaven, Father God, we thank you this evening. We thank you, Lord, for gathering us all here together to listen to your word. Yesterday, Father, you told us that we can be delivered from the bondage of sin. Today, Lord, you are assuring us that we are mighty warriors. And Father God, you are prepared to forgive us for our unbelief. We thank you, Lord, for the timely messages that you've brought to our lives. We thank you, Lord, for Sister Pidana that you've used today. We pray, Lord, that may you bless her, may you bless her family, may you bless everything, Lord, that she touches. Father God, I pray for each and every woman who is on this platform, even those, Lord, who are watching via Facebook. Father God, we might have kept quiet when we were asked for prayer requests, but Father God, deep down, we have all these requests. Some we cannot even utter during people. Father God, we pray that may you search our hearts, understand, Lord, what we cannot say verbally, and heal our hearts, dear Lord. May we pray that whatever decisions, whatever situations that we are facing, may we face them with you on our side. Father God, help us to believe that we are actually mighty warriors because you are the one who has set us. Father God, as we listen to your word, we pray that may we not only be listeners, but Father God, may we be doers. The theme, Lord, for this whole week is um, empowered by the Holy Spirit, I will go. At the end of the day, Lord, when we have been blessed by all these messages, 
when we have been delivered, when we have been forgiven, when we have been healed, Father God, may we be able to go out and preach the message that you have sent us to preach. Be with us, Lord, now as we're going to disperse. Keep us safe. Give us peaceful sleep during the night. And may we wake up tomorrow refreshed, Father God. We pray for everyone who is here. Meet us, Lord, at our different points of need. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Namisa. May we all meet again tomorrow, same time, half past six. And tomorrow there will be a new presenter, Sister Koli Iswa, will be talking to us about Heal Me. That's the topic for tomorrow. Um, Heal Me. Today was Forgive Me. Tomorrow will be Heal Me. I look forward to seeing all of you. Uh, in your many numbers as today, um, tomorrow, same time, half past six. Thank you and good night.